Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request for you at test taking weekend warriors doing your series four or series nine. We help you with any questions, but if it's a Kaplan question like this, one, two, seven, six, seven, five, three, it's easier because I can bring it up backstage. If you don't have a Kaplan Q bank or the Kaplan quick sheets, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. My 10% discount code at uh, checkout is Guru10. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on uh, Kaplan content like this. All right, let's uh, look at this question. A customer acquired 100 shares of ABC at 45. He then positioned a two-to-one ratio, right? So that means I'm writing two calls on 100 shares. The main test question, Series 4 and Series 9, is not the break-evens. It's the recognize that this exposes the customer to unlimited risk. There's no such thing as partially naked. So, you know, on that second call that's not covered, I got a problem, potential problem. But the strike price of 45 and a premium of three and a half, which of the following are break-evens. Now, if you've been with me any length of time as you've matriculated through your exams, here's once again, fire up the T. You know, you can't be using shortcuts as it relates to some of these more sophisticated option strategies. You've got to be able to Know what the contract specifications are, that this is an obligation to sell 200 shares at 45. That's what the contract specifications. I only have 100 shares. And then you got to be able to track money. So let's get the T fired up. So there's our T. We uh, paid 45 for the stock. And we brought in seven points for the uh, options. We were three and a half on two contracts. That's seven points. Uh, I believe in terms of your initial setup, I would be careful about jumping into the question and say, okay, how am I going to attack this question? I'm a fire up a T. What I mean by that is sometimes I might want to put all the zeros in there. Sometimes I may not just in terms of how much stuff is going on in the question. Uh, so that initial setup is kind of important. Now, the reason I like the initial setup here is now the break even becomes a little more transparent to us in terms of, uh, you know, what it is because break even is same dollars out as dollars in. It's what would make the columns balance. So if we put 38 in there, for example, you know, now I'm going to do process of elimination. And I say, yeah, that looks like it would make the thing break even, right? I've got same dollars out as dollars in. So now I know that uh, 38 is indeed a potential uh, break even. There's two in a ratio, right? That's the other thing you got to recognize. And the question kind of gives that away by saying break even points, points. You know, I didn't have to deal with this on a, a seven if it's been a seven that you recently passed anyway so that uh works 38 is one of our answers and then again contract specifications at uh, 45 the naked call the naked call i have is naked isn't be any kind of a threat to me now the other way to proceed again is we have our whoop uh, that's our one of them let's get out of the race here boom boom okay so uh, we know we need a uh, Roman numeral one, 38. So that means we have a 50-50 now because only A and B have Roman numeral one in them. Okay, let's look at our uh, other choices here. 42, if I plug 42 in there, the columns don't balance. Right? We're looking for same dollars out as dollars in. If I plug 48 in there, well, at 48 uh, at expiration, I would get called away at 45. Right. And uh, the other one, I have a three points of intrinsic value. And again, that would make it balance. If I plug 52, I say, OK, well, let me think about 52. Uh, at 52, I'm going to get called away. On my 100 shares. Right. So 52, I get called away. And that, again, you have to recognize there's a ceiling here. Let me put that in green. So at 52, I get called away at 45 on my 100 shares there. And then remember, break even is the comp thing that would make it balance. So then the intrinsic value, I have seven points here that I collected in premium. I have still a naked call. I only have one naked call left. And on that naked call, as long as I don't have to pay out more than seven, that would be the intrinsic value, basically. Yeah, that seems to work, right? So uh, on these more sophisticated strategy, process of elimination with a T is going to serve you well. So I've illustrated now that indeed, 38 and 52 are the break-evens. 
Now in the video description, I'll actually put the uh, math. Basically what I did to get the break even was 45 minus seven, 38. And that's how I got the uh, per share break even. And then on the upside uh, break even, I have to recognize there's a ceiling there. And at some point I'm going to lose. Once I go past 52, I start to lose money because the 45 call that remains uncovered is going to start hemorrhaging money on the uh, on the uh, side I happen to buy it back. Okay, well, anyways, hope that was helpful. Uh, again, remember, inch by inch, your series four or nine is a cinch, yard by yard, your series four or nine is hard. And then remember, the main point is on the test is to recognize that ratio rights expose this customer to unlimited risk. Past, past 52, we're going to start bleeding, hemorrhaging uh, losses. Okay, see you next time.